I'd like to explain um, in this short um, bit of film how we actually at um, RZSS are using uh, the near infrared spectrophotometer uh, to actually analyse um, forage samples for our zoo animals here uh, and also for other collections uh, in the United Kingdom. So you can see in my hand here a sample uh, of plant material. This happens to be uh, bamboo. Um, and this is the type of material that obviously is fed to uh, the pandas here, um, but it could equally be a sample of hay or lucerne or some other forage material. So we start with this, um, and our main aim is to actually then process it into, into a form that we can actually uh, successfully analyse. So just behind me here, we have um, a cell uh, which is actually um, is full up of um, uh, a sample. This happens to be a, a mixture of maize and lucerne, which has been freeze-dried to remove the water from it and keep it in a stable condition. And then it's been uh, ground through um, a grinder, which has a one millimetre sieve. And you can actually see on the bottom um, of, the, uh, of the cell that there is a glass window um, through which the, um, the infrared beam of light is going to be passed. Um, that takes about um, 30 to, to 50 seconds to do um, and then when we have finished the machine will display uh, a profile of, of the various components um, and we can analyse it for protein, for minerals, uh, for fat, for various fibres, parts of the cell wall, the cellulose um, and also the soluble sugars. It also gives us uh, an appreciation too of the digestibility, uh, that is um, how much of the food uh, the animal is able to utilise uh, for its own bodily needs. So we're very uh, pleased to actually have um, this facility in the lab here. In fact we are the only uh, zoo in the United Kingdom and probably in Europe um, actually having this technology uh, for, for our use. Um, and do we actually make good use of it, not only for ourselves, uh, but also we provide a, a service for other zoos where we can actually analyse the nutritional value um, of the forages. Uh, the reason this is important is actually because pellets and things that are made by manufacturers uh, do have a declared nutrient profile, but things like hay, forage and browses uh, have, have a variable nutrient content um, and often this is actually the biggest unknown um, variable uh, in the diets of animals that are kept in zoos and wildlife parks. So by using this technology, uh, we're actually able to have an idea uh, of the nutrient value uh, of the, the main forage material, which in turn means that we can tailor make um, the amount and the content of any manufactured pellet uh, more suited to the animal's overall daily needs. One of the remarkable things about this technology too is the fact that in two minutes we can have a set of results that would take up to 12 hours um, if, we were able to, if we were using standard wet chemistry um, in a laboratory. So clearly this technology has great advantages uh, in terms of um, timeliness and uh, cost effectiveness.